What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Christian Hansen. Today I'm on a farm in Sumatra drinking Tua with a farmer. Yeah! So guys, I am out in the middle of, I don't even know where I am, but I've almost found this place called Sajan Heritage. It's basically like a farm where you can really get close to the to the nature. I've been staying so much in hotels lately, I feel like going really local. Let's see. It's saying, don't go in. Let's try and go in. Hi. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Aumi. Aumi? Nice to meet you. I'm Chris. Ah, well, I found the right place. Oh, ponies. You, Turanga, there's a friend for you. Here it is, Sajan Heritage Farm. Wow! So after finding the right place, I went to prepare myself for a lesson in the Sumatran farm life. Good morning guys, it is my first morning here at Sajan Heritage Farm and it is just incredibly peaceful and beautiful here. All you can hear is the birds and the trees. Gurli, the daughter of the owner, uh, Yan, was running around playing with the dogs. They are already out working in the fields. So I'll just be staying here until tomorrow in this tiny house here behind me. I've slept absolutely incredible it's actually Indian owned that's why the name Sajan it's actually Indian and it means compassion let's explore this place before we go towards Takengong let's get to it here at the Sajan farmstay they have tiny houses as accommodation for their guests small ones big ones and even for campers and all the dogs, they use their protective instincts as they sleep in front of the houses each night, watching over the guests. Even Turanga had had her own guardian during the night. Morning. Brother Christian. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. What about you? Good. Very so, good. So, ready for breakfast? Very ready. I will serve you. Good morning, guys. <laughs> oh. His name is Marco. Pagi, bro. Pagi, Pagi. This is Moti. Hi Moti. So, yeah. <laughs> it is time for breakfast and they have a perfect little spot here where you can sit and enjoy the view over the field. And ah, we already got a white egret, a horse and two sheep. Perfect breakfast view. So I'm having an Indian uh, cuisine for breakfast because actually the owners Manjit and Yen, they are originating from India. Their grandparents came from India to here. So both Manjit and Jan was born here and it looks incredible. So this is a mango pickle. Wow, it's tasteful. Indian food is pretty good. <laughs> so the plan is for these upcoming days to stay here uh, just today. And then tomorrow I will continue the journey towards Takengong. All right, quick change of clothes and after a lovely breakfast, it is time to go and explore a bit. So I've basically asked Gindo, uh, who is also a tour guide here, what kind of things they do here on the farm. And he just said, I'll show you. So, okay, let's go with Gindo and check out this place and see how life on the farm here in Sumatra really is. Hey, Vera. Not sure what it is, but just having all these animals around me and with the sun and the cold mountain air, it's actually not that hot. It's just, yeah, I don't know. For me, it feels like home, you know? My father, he's also a farmer and his name is Yan, just like the owner here. Interesting. So, you know, are we ready? Hey, yes, man. Good. Ready. Good. So, I guess this is the first time for you in Indonesia to go to the farm? It is. <laughs> it is. Yeah. 
Well, let's go there. How do you remember all the names of all the dogs here? There's so just, many. If you stay here just two days, you will remember too. Oh yeah? <laughs> Every <laughs> name has, has their own name here. Salu. This Look one up. Salu. Salu. Yeah, Salu. Want to, huh? Even the sheep has yeah. its own name. Oh, yeah. oh they're kissing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's yours too? I just give? Yeah. There you go. Basante. Basante. Oh, Anna, yeah. yeah. Banana. <laughs> yeah, That's why this is a family, really family oriented, you know. So the guests coming here with the with their, their kids, then do the activities. And this is, you know, our pleasure to introduce the the city kids, you know, yeah, to know about how how to be a farmer, you know, how to feed the animals over here. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So guys, if you know any Orang Jaxel kids, send them out here. <laughs> they will learn a lot, yeah? And you said something about that the all the animals here are rescued? Yeah. All our animals that you see here are rescued here. They've been, uh, you know, uh, working in the city, in the Braslagi. They just wanted to be, you know, go to slaughterhouse. And then the owner just came here and then, because they knew that we love animals here, mm -hmm. we just uh, bought them here. At least for the rest of their life, you know, we just give the heaven, the real life of, the meaning of the real life for them. Yeah. I like that. Seeing how fast the cinnamon trees and pine trees grow, I came to realize that this is possibly the best place in Indonesia to be a farmer. You can plant anything here anything and it will grow. Man. Sometimes it's good, you know, sometimes it could be dangerous also because you are in the comfort zone, you know. Mm -hmm. You can plant anything and you can get money and you can get, uh, you know, a normal life, you know. Yeah. yeah. And that is uh, sometimes bad because people, uh, sometimes they, they don't worry about the nature, the environment also here. Ah, you yeah. are thinking about like palm tree, uh, palm oil plantations. Yes, you know, everything here. It's probably a mix of the soil, the volcanic soil, right? Yes. And the soil. temperature, you probably have plenty of rain as well. Yeah. Sun, so perfect place to grow. <laughs> and <laughs> empty, yes. It's amazing. Yeah. So the we have bees also yeah. here. Oh, uh oh. Yeah. One of, uh, one of my fears. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. I'm just telling you that bees, yeah. they love to sting me. <laughs> Not other people, just me. <laughs> oh really? I don't know what it is. They're making honey right now. They're making honey. Right now. What is like that? that? It is really good for environments in the farm. Pollinating the plants, the flowers here, you know, and they just manage the ecosystem here. And we also have the mushroom, you know, mushroom room there also. Yeah. Oh, funny mushroom? Yeah. Uh, no. no, 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 <laughs> not that much mushroom. You say, yeah? <laughs> not that one, not that one. This Abole. is a normal one. <laughs> ah, normal mushroom. Normal mushroom, ah, yeah. Ah, okay. For one second, I was very happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So this is a perfect place, both to get some sun, because you can see I'm pale as F. And yeah, learn about the nature, learn about the farm life. So besides all the bees they have for making honey and pollinating crops, we are right now inside of their coffee plantation because they have that as well. And they say the only thing that's bad about having this coffee plantation is it also attracts snakes. So I'm just gonna focus on where I walk here. So Gindu says, ah, no problem, it's just a regular snake. If they bite you, you just get fever. <laughs> if the local farmers, they used to just they, they used to like to eat it like this only, you know? When it's wet or this is fresh, they just open like this and they eat it. I drink fresh coffee one. every single day, but I've never <laughs> tried eating coffee like this, raw. Just suck it. Let's try. Oh, not chew. Yeah, no, no, don't chew it. Don't chew it. Uh, no? No? No, don't no. chew it. It's just like a snack for the local people here, yeah. especially mama, mama or ibu, ibu, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, the, because the workers used to be the ibu, ibu here, you know? Mm. The moms. They just eat it like that. Yeah? Yeah. It's like sweet. Yeah, yeah this is sweet. Right? <laughs> yeah. Besides the coffee, there are no limits to what kind of fruits and vegetables they have here. Everything is so fresh and well taken care of. All is homegrown and all is organic. Both eaten by the guests, the staff and the animals. Zero? <laughs> ah, so you have uh, passion fruit yeah, here as passion well, fruit, yeah? Yes. You can, you can just try it. You can get it also. Oh, just like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Passion fruit. Actually, I think this is my first time trying, uh, not within a restaurant, you know, but fresh. Wow. It's good, isn't it? Wow. Fresh. So much taste. Yeah. So fresh. It's very sour. My brother, he likes this a lot because he loves things that are sour. 
<laughs> looks so fresh. Well, the colors. Begini lah hidup Indonesia ya. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just put here. Yeah, it's okay. It's organic, man. They'll become their compost again. Nice. So we just went through their small walking trail here, and Gendo tells me that they even have Buddhists, monks coming out here, and they simply just go on this trail. They sit down. They spend the morning here meditating, because it's so peaceful here, you know. So if you're into yoga, meditation, and all that, then this is a really good place for that as well. Besides the rescued horses, they also have rescued cows who would otherwise just have been slaughtered. Hi, Vincent! How are you? Hi! It warms my heart seeing just how much they love animals here. In fact, they house a total of 18 dogs here, which is quite uncommon to see in Indonesia. So why do you have so many dogs here, bro? Ah, actually, you know, farm, we, you know, they, they keep their territories, you know. So once we go to the corner and bring them, they will just make the territories here. And we said that they are really friends, you know, truly friends for us. They are giving everything to us, uh, helping us and then protect us from everything. And we learn many things, a lot from the animals, you know. not by the words, but by the directions and the way they are looking at us. And this afternoon, guys, it's gonna be my first time ever trying tuak. And for those of you who don't know what tuak is, it's kind of like arak, but just better tasting and here from Sumatra. So actually right here we have the tree they make the tuak with, right, bro? Yeah, this is the trees. We call it locally pola, pola. Yeah, so when they grow up, they will have like some, some berries there and they will just cut it and one tip by tip, it will just come down the, the, the water. Yes. Kind and of I'll... like a rubber tree. Yes, something like that. And plus taking care of the animal life. I really appreciate that they also try their best to give back to the nature. Uh, the guests who came here, they will get one tree to be planted here. So these all are by the guests of Sajan. Come here and they do the activities to plant this. All the trees are planted by guests, yeah? Yeah. Cypress tree, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Most of the guests are here are returning customers. Yeah. 70% I can say. So those, all us, all of them are like family here, you know, when they came here. I like that a lot, you know? You don't just come here to be a tourist, but you also come here and you learn how to make a difference and learn how to take care of the, the nature, right? For our future generations. I was surprised to learn that the guys had found a creative way to make some extra income for the farm through selling NFTs. NFTs are built on blockchain technology, kind of like crypto. Digital assets, often in a form of digital art. And by making their own music videos, they can sometimes get early access to newly released NFTs by submitting their music videos in competitions. And I got to see it behind the scenes. Family, we were through the fate of time in the blockchain technology. As the guys were finishing their shoot for the new Lacoste NFT, I waited with the owner's daughter, Guoli. She was on the phone with her mother, pretending and learning to make bookings for the farm stay. All right, guys, so. Today for lunch, we thought we would make it a bit special, sit here in the middle of the field. So I'm having lunch today with Gindo. Yeah. Hello. Hi, man. <laughs> so let's dig in. Yeah, let's dig in. Actually, we are just uh, having uh, Indian cuisine right now, especially in uh, Punjabi food. All of these are vegetarian. What is this? This is, uh, we call it mutton curry masala. Okay. Yeah, but we just use uh, mushroom meat here. Uh, yeah. Instead of lamb. Instead of lamb, that's ah. true. Yeah. And this one? And this one is chicken butter masala. Without chicken. Without chicken. <laughs> Same thing. Especially this one I like a lot. The garlic. Naan. Yeah, garlic naan. Garlic naan. Wow. Yeah. So good. And one thing we're gonna try today as well is um, something that I've never tried before, which is tuak. For those of you <laughs> who don't know what tuak is, it is the kind of Sumatran version of arak, yeah? Yes, kind of. 
but the taste is uh, kind of wine maybe I can say okay because Arak is a bit stronger right yeah yeah and the, Arak is very strong so bro yeah how long have you lived here on the farm I've been here for almost three years so what does your family think of you being a farmer <laughs> mm. Asian will be Asian, you know. <laughs> uh. They want me to work in the office, you know, have a good looking uh, jobs. You know, I'm just uh, pass it and I wish I can be become something, you know, in my dream with my team here also. You know, because this is not only a business for me. It is the way of life. It is the way how to be useful. Yeah. I like that. Semangat. Semangat, yes. Mm. Like you. I think it's time that we try the tour. Oh really? Uh huh. So you make it from the tree. Yeah. This is the original one, you know. Don't don't take it from any city because it will be the fake taste, you know. This is only the pure one, the original one. When you go to the village place. All right. Try. Cheers, guys. Cheers for that. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Tastes like wine. It's weird. It's sweet and it's not as strong mm -hmm. as I thought. This is maybe what 10%. 12% alcohol? It's around 7 to 14. 7 to 14? Yeah. Okay, okay. It's actually mm. pretty good. Mm. Different with Arak? Very different. Very different. Can I try Arak? And this is a good companion also for the talk. Oh, Usually yeah, it's good. Video. Deep yeah. talk and the truth to you, tell. You reveal too many things. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> so maybe we stop drinking now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's really just crying and all. <laughs> Alright guys, it has been a fantastic stay here at Sachan Heritage Farm. Not just the place, but also the people. So guys, this place has my highest recommendations. Make sure to come and check it out. If you're a fan of animals, if you're a fan of NFTs, they can take care of everything. Right guys? Yeah, good deal. We got 250 kilometers on the road today, so it's gonna be a very long day. My longest route ever. Thank you so much, yeah? Okay, all the best, bro. All the best. See you next time, yeah? All the best, man. Thank you, Vino. See you guys. Damn, I'm gonna miss those guys. They were all just so super outgoing, super cool. We've just been hanging out, smoking cigarettes, drinking to work. Ah, the good life, you know? Okay, bro. Thank you so much, yeah? All the best. Until next time, yeah? set course for Sumatra's most northern province, Aceh. Yes, I have made it to Aceh guys. I'm not sure this is the best idea I've ever had trying to drive 250 kilometers in one day. But I gotta say, Aceh's nature here, beautiful. I'm just riding next to a river right now. We got palm trees, we got mountains, we got rice fields. Living the dream, baby, living the dream. And before we end the video, guys, here are one last pro tip from the road. Hi, guys. Oh, he's shocked. He was following me. <laughs> oh, I nearly pissed myself. So, pro tip, guys, don't get too close to the monkeys. And that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and a massive shout out to all my Orang Bike members. Stay tuned for the next episode where I go to the hidden gem of Aceh, Taking On. In today's episode, I'm in the Gaio Highland. Her tears is what make up 
Lake Wanhawa. <laughs> 